What is the percentage chance that Lamar wins MVP this year? So I again, I I don't even know if to put a percentage on it. I'd say what like 30, 30, 33? Okay, That's fair. Because we're getting into a weird range, especially towards the end of the year, where it's like these last, you know, four are gonna like really determine who it is. So yeah, I'd say like as of right now, where things stand 25, 30 could heavily increase over or decrease over the next few weeks. But I like that number right now. Yeah, this was definitely one of the better games of the week. It was exciting till the end. And I mean, it ended with a walk off punt return. How often does that happen? And might I add the craziest part? This is what I want to talk about real quick is it came from the backup, Tylen Wallace. Like if you do that as the backup, is there not discussion the next week? Like that you just keep the job. I mean, that's like, you know what I mean? I, I, Hey, but at the same time, I know that the returner is from the past. He's also uh, Duvernay is also an all pro. So that's why it's like, I don't, it makes, it's a good situation. It's good. A good problem to have. I suppose definitely yeah. not a bad problem to have. No, definitely. And also the other thing is the Ravens receivers have really stepped up at the right time. Like, this is what they wanted from OBJ. I feel like he's been underwhelming and kind of disappointing all year. Three touchdowns in the last five weeks. I think that they've really started to get him involved recently. You see them trying to get him rack opportunities. And that's what I think OBJ was really missing. It's like, you know, maybe try to get the ball to him a little too deep, a little trying to trying to stretch him a little too much. At this point of his career, I think OBJ's best. Just get that ball in his hand. Just let him do his thing. Yeah, you have to. I mean, Zay Flowers looking nice. Um we know what the Ravens are defense and very, very fun offense. Other side of the ball, a team that has been up and down all year. The Rams. Are they the most confusing team in the they, league? I don't get them. I don't understand. Like they can play with the best in the NFL, but then some games is just like, they just can't move the ball. They are genuinely confusing, especially when you consider that like you might, we might see them in the playoffs. That all all I know is that Sean McVay is an absolute heck of a coach. I wouldn't want to see the Rams in the playoffs. I, that, no, that's what I'm saying. Absolutely not. Sean McVay is a heck of a coach. He, he deserves so much credit. I think the main thing with the Rams is that the main narrative even this year is just the young defensive guys they took are really, again, we just think, you know, they keep coming on. They keep playing good games. And, but you know, also Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, do but on another level these last three weeks. I mean, like that when, when they're exploding together, this offense definitely is one of the best in the league. And that's really that is going to be what takes the Rams to the top or sends them to the bottom. Is it's just how long can Coop and Pook, <laughs> Coop and Pook, his new name, keep this going? Because if they can each go for a, over eighty every single week, and they can all each get a touchdown, I mean, even with I mean. Kyron Williams, and yes, that, and that's the trio. Yeah, th- thanks for reminding me. I, I, I'm I'm not giving enough credit where it's due. It's a trio going on right now where you got almost someone's got to have eyes on Kyron out the backfield. Someone's got to have two two people got to have eyes on Coop. And then, oh, what's Pook doing over here? He's just eating. It's just, I mean, if you can keep that going. And if Matt Stafford could just be serviceable next year, like the Rams, after another free agent offseason and another draft class, they actually may have like a competitive team where they're above 500. Oh, and you know that this is what the Rams are going to be doing. You already, you can see it with certainty. I think that's what they try to do with Stetson. We know, I, I know Stetson's going through his own personal troubles and all that. Hopefully he's doing better. And and perhaps from also that perspective, Stetson maybe just was not ever going to be like this guy because yeah. Stetson's a little more risky, smaller frame. You get what I'm saying? Like to be the successor, I think what we're going to see this offseason is you're definitely going to see the Rams at some point in this draft take a successor. Like to sit behind staff. And then you know, because you know Staff only has a couple more years in his belt, through a few at most probably. And it's like, hey, let's just get this guy behind a future Hall of Great team hall of fame kind of guy yeah and let's just let him or let's let him eat and then in a few years when we need him kind of like a try to try jordan love type of situation that's why i feel like the rams are leading to at this point 